Let's go! Please stop it! <laughs> hey man, I'm sorry for the headphone users, man. Y'all might have to turn the volume down a little bit. What's good guys? What's good with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you aren't new and you've been around my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified every time a video goes live. And hey, y'all already know, give it a clap for the Maverick, baby. Let's go. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get it. All right, man, going into this game, um, I was a little bit, you know, worried. Luca got injured last game, if you guys did not know that. Um, looks like he has a sprained ankle and he's gonna be out for a couple of weeks. But these, you know, games that are coming down the line, the Mavericks playing some big teams, you know what I'm saying? Um, they just came off of a close loss to the Heat. Um, the Bucks, going into this game, won 18 games straight. Let me repeat myself, 18 games straight. And the Mavs pulled it off without their MVP, man. Luka Doncic out of the game, and the Mavs pulled it off. If you guys did not have the pleasure of watching this game, man, we're gonna watch some highlights, talk about how the Mavs came out and won this game on the road. I'm telling you, bro, Mavs are the best team on the road this year so far, in my opinion. Um, they're also, if you guys didn't know, number one ranked offense in the league. and. They showed it without their number one offensive threat. You feel me? Um, but anyways, guys, I had some trouble in my last video getting it uploaded. So hopefully today I can get this up sooner than, you know, like 5 a.m. It was over here. I stayed up pretty late. Um, so shout out, shout out to you guys who still watched it, man. Um, if you guys do go into enjoy the video, man, please give a thumbs up or just leave a thumbs up for the Mavs knocking off the best team in the NBA. This is a team who hadn't, haven't lost or who who didn't lose, I don't know how to put this. They hadn't lost a home game since the second day they played, since their second game. You know what I'm saying? The Mavs came in and did what they had to do. So anyways, let's get to the video. Please don't forget to like it, man. It helps the channel out a bunch. And let's see, let's see how the Mavs did this, man. Let's see, Giannis with the three? Sheesh. All right, here goes the Mavs. Mavs came out, they gave the Bucks a one-two punch off the beginning. Hey, Porzingis, let's talk about my guy because, you know, he hasn't been around on the offensive side a lot. We've been talking about he's gonna come around, but since Luka wasn't really out there, I feel like Porzingis actually like hopped into his bag, you feel me? And offensively, and he started scoring. And y'all are gonna see, he had some clutch big shots. He had a three from the logo in the fourth quarter. Um, and defensively, he was still there. He's still not 100% health-wise and fit-wise, but I'm telling you, bro, we, we got a glimpse of that Porzingis from the Knicks today. We got a glimpse. Let's go, Dwight. Hey, baby Brunson down there. Hey, and what people forget is that the Mavs have one of the best bench, in the, one of the best bench players in the league. Let's go! Over Giannis. But anyways, the Bucks bench and the Mavs bench are the number one and two bench in the league um, based on like bench uh, point uh, differential. So the Mavs bench will outscore um, their opponent's bench by this much every time they play. So this just shows you that the Mavs bench is outstanding. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to every, hey, we're gonna get into it, but I'm, I'm so excited. Good shot, baby. I'm already knowing that's a butter. Finney pulling up. Okay, Finney. Porzingis. Justin. Bro, I'm telling you, the Mavs got off to a great start on threes, bro. And I'm, I'm interested to see how many threes they made in this game, but we haven't even seen Seth Curry yet, baby. Mavs up 24-17. Porzingis, let's go for another one. Tell him to step up on everybody. Step up. All right, Seth, Seth's in, baby. DeLon. They hot, baby. Let's go. Backboard all day in a good way. Hey, let's go. Get me hype. Courtney Lee in. 
Justin gets it. Hey, Giannis, please. Step up on that. <laughs> I'm telling you, that backboard, baby. Gonna get beat up in a good way. Let's go, DeLon, attack. Attack the basket. Oh. I'm telling you, bro. The Mavs, oh my gosh, bro. There goes that. Oh. The crowd, I was watching this live. The crowd did not like that one because Dwight kind of pushed off, but hey, oh well. Jalen. Oh my gosh, I remember that play. Whew, we got to talk about that. I'm thinking Jalen's going to pass it to uh, Powell, possibly. But he sees that Middleton is sleeping down. Then I'm like, all right, he's going to pass to Porzingis. That's cutting. That's an easy dunk. You remember like last video, he missed Porzingis. But he somehow fits the ball between these two players and gets it out to Finney Smith. Let me give you all a clean one. Ah, through there. Finney steps into it. Bang. Bang, you feel me? Giannis is just getting everywhere he wants. And one. Porzingis. Puller. Let's go, baby. That's and one. Come on. Hey, good look. Seth. Later and one. Oh. Good move. Giannis. I'm talking to you, Giannis. Step up. Y'all gonna stop disrespecting Curry. Curry. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. This was Seth Curry's quarter. I almost, almost messed up on that. Seth Curry's quarter. He had 13 in this quarter, bro. They might not have shown all of them, but 13 points he stepped up and gave the Mavs a little cushion going into that fourth quarter. Good pass, Curry. Beginning of the fourth. Seth Curry gonna start where, right where he left off. Backboard, baby. Here comes Seth. George Hill's on him. Step back. Jack, let's go. I like Seth Curry's in his bag. Come on. Porzingis. You gonna let me have it? Step up. <laughs> Giannis. Hey, this is the last time I'm gonna tell you. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you. Stop disrespecting the math shooters, bruh. Stop. Porzingis was nice enough to, to even give you some time right here. He said, all right, bro, let, let me let me pump fake. Let me just give you some time to, you know, make this shot difficult on me. I know I'm about six feet out, but please step up. Come on, God. Six minutes left. Mavs up. Let's go. Please stop it. Hey, man, I'm sorry for the headphone users, man. Y'all might have to turn the volume down a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Please look where he's standing, guys. Look where he's standing. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry, Kodak. I I'm waking you up a little bit. But, hey, I know you happy the Mavs got to win. Look at that. Giannis, bro. That's it. Three strikes, you're out, buddy. Go sit on that bench. Nice switcheroo. Oh, the pass. The pass. And one. Now, guys, there's something I need. Hold on. There's something I need to talk about, bro. The bad part that happened in this game. You know what I'm saying? It can't be too bad because the Mavs still won. But you see how the score is 110 to 99, okay? The Mavs somehow let the Bucks come back in this game. I don't know if they just thought the game was in the bag. Uh, Rick put Porzingis on the bench. He put Seth on. Um, I don't think Seth was on the bench for uh, in the game, but um, I think he was though. He's still in now. But Porzingis is definitely on the bench. Mavs had this game in the bag. I'm watching it live, and I'm like, let's get it, man. But the Bucks start coming back. Just make sure you keep watching the score. I don't know if they're gonna show anything. So if they don't show what I'm talking about, then I'll tell you guys. Quality got bad on this. DeLon. So you guys see the score now, 23 seconds. 
Bucks are down by six. Let's keep watching. Mavs give up a turnover, I believe. And now they're up by four. All right, so the Mavs get down and score two free throws. Buckets. Giannis was on the bench from like the sixth minute in the fourth quarter or somewhere around there. You guys can go back and see. He put Giannis, Mike Boonhoser, the Bucks coach, put Giannis back into the game because they were almost about to win. That's how bad it was. Mavs don't know how to finish games. So here we go. Mavs are up by five now. Giannis gets a freaking and one. An and one, bro. And he misses, right? So Porzingis was on the bench, like I said, right? Porzingis on the bench. Porzingis comes back in the game to secure this defensive rebound if Giannis misses because he's not a good free throw shooter. Now, they don't get the rebound, but Porzingis comes up with a block, baby. And it's off the Bucks. Mavs ball. Uh, Tim Hardaway goes to the line, misses one, makes the second. That's all that matters. Mavs go up by four. And there's no four pointers left. Don't play any D. Game's over. Mavs win. But the Mavs, bro, y'all got to do better, bro. They almost came back and won and snagged that game. Uh, but anyways, y'all know y'all know what time it is. Let's get into it. So the starters tonight without Luca, Brunson gets the start. Tim Hardaway, Finney Smith, um, Porzingis, and Dwight Powell. Uh, Dwight Powell went one for six from the game. Not too good. I do see eight rebounds here, one block, uh, four points out of his 19 minutes. Porzingis, nine for 19, four for eight, four for four from the free throw line. The Mavericks actually shot really well from the free throw line. They made all their free throws leading up into the beginning of the fourth quarter. They didn't start missing until Justin Jackson missed both free throws. Um, Luca, I mean not Luca, um, Tim Hardaway missed one. There's three right there. They only missed five for the whole game, so. 26 points for my guy Porzingis, two blocks, four assists, 12 rebounds, two offensive rebounds. And Dorian Finney-Smith, man, he, hey, he's not going to show up on paper that much, but he did have 15 points, three great threes, clutch threes, eight rebounds. And his defensive presence tonight, bro, helped the Mavs get to where they need to be. Uh, Jalen Brunson off the bench, uh, uh, starting, I'm sorry. Four for nine, four for four on free throws. He did shoot two clutch free throws down in the clutch of the game when the Mavs were letting the uh, lead slip. 11 assists, getting the team involved there. Um, and that's all I see from right there. So Tim Hardaway did not have that great of a game actually. One for 10, 0 for five, um, and four for six from uh, the free throw line. He did come in clutch at the end of the game though and made two free throws back to back. And then he made the, um, the dagger free throw. So um, it was a minus nine while he was on the court, but nevertheless, he did have an, uh, a pretty big impact at the end of the game there. He did have four, four turnovers too. All right, so Maxi, uh, 10 points, two uh, threes right there, seven rebounds and uh, 29 minutes. Justin Jackson had seven points, three assists, one three-pointer he went two for five and he did miss those two free throws at the end that probably would have gotten the game over quicker than it should have been um delon wright had a great game he was uh definitely being very aggressive on the offensive side he had four steals he's gonna do that you know what i'm saying defensive minded point guard five for six from the field uh he made one three and was uh perfect from the free throw line Courtney Lee only played seven minutes, nothing from him there, straight zeros and one turnover. Did nothing great for the Mavericks, uh, but Curry, man, 26 minutes, nine for 15, four for eight from free throws, I mean from uh, three-point land, four for four from free throws. He had five rebounds, four assists, did have four turnovers, but he had 26 points. Um, second leader behind Porzingis, man. Mavs shot 47% from the field, 39% from the three, 81% from the free throw line. Let's get into this. Y'all see, every starter did not have double digits. Besides Giannis, who had 48. Mavs defense, man, give them a clap. 
they stopped Middleton, they stopped their former teammate, Matthews, Lopez, all of them non-factors besides Antetokounmpo, who also had a, did he have a triple-double? He did not. Okay, so I don't really want to talk about them too much. Kyle Korver had a pretty good game. He did go five for seven from three. But besides that, let's uh, check the team. Mav shot better field goal percentage by 5%. Three-point land, they killed the Mav uh, the Bucks. Mav shot 16 threes, or made 16 threes. The Bucks only made 11. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. I am happy, bro. Anyways, uh, 17 free throws made for the Bucks. Mavs went to the free throw line and shot 27. Bucks shot 24. And the Mavs made five more free throws. A rebound war was tied. Assist. Bucks won by two. Uh, turnovers, I like to look at that. Mavs had 14, Bucks had eight. And there you have it, guys. So, like I said, man, if y'all haven't left a like on the video, please do so now. Um, shout out to the Mavs, bro. Um, I believe they played the Celtics on Wednesday. I did remember. Um, so you guys don't have to check the description today, but it will still be there. Uh, Mavs play Celtics on Wednesday at home. And, hey. Shout out to the Mavs for breaking that 18 game win streak. And uh, y'all let me know anything y'all thought was great in this game, who stepped up big for you guys, or who you thought played a great game. If I didn't see it in the highlights or anything, if I missed a couple of uh, plays in here. I didn't get to watch the full entire game, but I watched, you know, 90% of it. So um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday, man. Let's go, Mavs! And I'm out, bruh.